Hello and good day. I'm creating this short video based on a requirement needed by head office. So every school does every JHS is to fill this form. There's private and public JHS in Lower Manya, Krobo. Municipality are to fill this form and submit it to the office mail so that we can compile it and send it to HQ. When you receive the form, you open it and when you launch the form, there are five sheets and these sheets are home, JHS1, JHS2, JHS3 and some. Out of the five, you are only going to work in four of the sheets. This is what you are to do. You add the name, you type the name of your school. So if you are a private school, just type so maybe VRA Akusi International School. Then you type your MS code, your MS code, which is 10552500077. And that is with the MS code. If you are a public school, an example can be Noasu Anglican JHS. Then you type the MS code, which can be 10552500009. So, whatever school it is, when you type the MS code, it will, it will reflect in the summary. So, you will see that it appears here summary. That's the name of the school and everything. So when you are done filling with the first sheet, which is home, you come to JHS1 sheet. And all among all the sheets, uh, in this sheet, you are only going to fill these three columns with the names of the students. So let's say a student called James, James Quark, and the gender is male. So you will see that that is a drop down. All I'm typing is giving me a prediction. So, so you will see that it is a drop down. So male. Then you select. Then you type the date of birth of that student. If you have worked on the Excel sheet that we used to compile or complete last year's census, it's the same thing. It's the same thing. We the first one is the month. So you know we have 12 months in a year so the month so it can be 12 that's december dash then maybe 08 that's august then maybe 2009 and it means that student is 13 years then you continue maybe the next name um suzy Suzy Tete, then that person is a female, and the month that's the date of birth, which can be let me make let me intentionally make a mistake. So, although we know that there are months, the month should start, and maybe I want the present name is 25th, date of birth is 25th of. Of September 2011 and I press you will see that it's giving me an error which is a value error telling me that what I have typed here is wrong sadly too I can't delete this thing it's to tell me that this part is being protected so I can't delete I can't delete it good it's telling me I can't delete this part so all I need to do is to correct the date of birth. The month should come first, so 09. Then maybe the 25th will also be in that order. And when I'm done with that, it will give me the right age. The ages will come automatically based on the date of birth. You don't need to do any calculation. It has been done for you. Then you continue with all the students in JHS1. They are their agenda, that are sex, male and female, and their date of birth. You do same for JHS2 and JHS3. And when you are done, 
it will be giving you it when you come to this and it will give you the summary of everything the summary of everything the thing is when you are finished with this what do you do one you have to rename the file so the file came by a default in lower money robot jhs enrollment match but with the jhs schools you rename to the name of your school then you send it through this email lowermanyacrobo.edu at gmail.com and we will receive it the, the closing date or the deadline for this is by the 3rd of of april 2023 3rd april 2023 we expect that every school should have finished and submitted this so that we can i can compile all this this uh, Excel sheet school by school so that I can be able to meet the deadline that have been given. Um, so simply this is this is the, the video to explain the Excel sheets as it have been. If you have done the right thing, to not give you error. You you can also edit some of the places that have been locked. Thank you very much, and God bless you. Bye bye.